When you're working with a ton of information, combining and merging data from multiple worksheets in Excel into a single sheet can be pretty time consuming. But by using a built-in feature available starting in Excel 2016, this task could be a whole lot easier. Let's take a look at how to do it. Power Query is a great data connection feature that allows you to seamlessly combine data stored in multiple worksheets. To use it, your data in each worksheet has to be organized in Excel tables, and the structure of the tables should be consistent. You should also name your Excel tables in order to avoid confusion. As an example, let's say we have to prepare a report for the first three months of the year. We can name our tables January, February, and March. To combine the data, click the Power Query tab, select From Other Sources, then select Blank Query. You will then be taken to the Power Query Editor. Type equals excel.currentworkbook, open parentheses, close parentheses in the formula bar, and hit Enter. Power Query will then display a table with two columns labeled Content and Name. You should see your table names in the second column. Click on the double-pointed arrow in the content header, then select all of the columns that you would like to combine. If you want to combine all columns, simply check the box next to Select All Columns. In some cases, you may see a message displaying List May Be Incomplete. If that happens, just click Load More next to the message to include all of your columns. Also, make sure that Use Original Column Name as Prefix is unchecked before clicking OK. Power Query should now return a table with all of the data from different worksheets combined. You'll also see another column at the right end of the table, which lets you view names that you've assigned to your Excel tables. That helps you to know which Excel table a particular set of data has originated from. The process of merging data in Excel can be tricky. So before merging data from multiple worksheets, ensure that all worksheets have identical headers, types of data, and don't contain blank rows or columns. This is mandatory for the process to be successful because if they don't match in the source areas, they will cause separate rows or columns to appear in the consolidation. When you're ready, create a new worksheet. Click on the Data tab, then select Consolidate. In the Function drop-down menu, choose Sum, and in the Reference menu, click the Expand Collapse button to its right to access the data you want to merge. When you find the data you need, click the Add button and continue in that same way for each dataset that you would like to merge. Before clicking OK, keep in mind that if you're planning to change data in your original worksheets in the future and would like those changes to be reflected in your merged worksheet, check the box next to Create Links to Source Data. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Excel and other technology. And do not forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.